Now let's talk about IgA antibodies. IgA antibodies are important in the mucosal system. Here again, we have the mucosal surfaces, epithelial cells, and here have the blood vessel underneath it. Now, this is the lamina propria of any uh, mucosal um, system. It can be in the nasal, the gut, or the bronchus, for example. I mentioned before that the plasma cells become activated once they leave the blood vessel into the tissue and with the help of T helper cells. So here we have an IgA B lymphoblast leaving the blood vessel and becomes an IgA producing plasma cell. When the plasma cell produces IgA, it produces, produces, produces it in, the, in a dimeric form within the mucosal system. The dimeric form is when the two IgA monomers are connected to each other by a J chain. However, if the IgA is secreted in the bloodstream, the IgA is usually monomeric, just one of them secreted, like so. Another important thing is that plasma cells are not usually found in inductive sites, such as in the gut, the inductive site being the Peyer's patches. So plasma cells are not really found in Peyer's patches because plasma cells are effector cells, so they are usually found in the lamina propria, where they, se where they can secrete antibodies to protect against infection. Now that the plasma cell has secreted antibodies, these IgA antibodies, what happens next? Well, the IgA, the dimeric IgA antibody, can move from the lamina propria into the lumen where it can um, help prevent antigens from entering our body, uh, entering the mucosal surface, for example. There are special receptors on the basal aspect of these epithelial cells called PIGR, which which actually has affinity for the dimeric IgA antibodies. And once the IgA antibody binds to the PIGR, uh, it gets endocytized within the cell and then expelled out into the lumen. And now, as it does this, the dimeric IgA antibody, the J chain, takes part of the PIGR receptor and forms the IgA plus the secretory component. So now we have many IgA antibodies within lumen. So what do they do now? What, how do they prevent antibodies from invading or causing an infection within the mucosal surfaces? Well, for example, it can do three things. If we have antigen pathogens within the lumen, the secreted IgA form can bind on, on these pathogens and antigens and neutralize them, so prevent them from invading or infiltrating a cell. Another thing antibodies can do, if the dimeric antibodies, if it's secreted within the lamina propria, and antigens are present already in the lamina propria, the dimeric IgA antibody can bind to these antigens present here, and then following this, bind on the PIGR uh, receptor, on the basal aspect of the cell, and then with the antigen be transported out into the lumen taking up part of the PIGR receptor. So now we have the IgA plus the antigen and the secretory component. So what happened here? So IgA can export pathogens and antigens out of the lamina propria into the lumen. And the final thing, or one of the, one of the other main things IgA, anti, uh, IgA antibodies can do, is that if an antigen has infiltrated a cell, the IgA antibody can bind to the PIGR receptor of the cell that, is, that has been infiltrated and essentially bind with the antigen within the cell and then transport it out. So number three, the IgA can bind um, and neutralize um, an antigen in, within the cell. So that concludes the, those, these videos on the mucosal immune system. Um, the mucosal immune system, once again, is very important in preventing um, pathogens from invading our body and from preventing infections. Another important thing is that if an immune response is generated within one area of the mucosal um, system, it can generate the, the, the immune response in other areas, such as if an immune response is generated within the nasal cavity, the nasal mucosal tract, it can generate the same immune response in the vaginal tract of the gut. So therefore, it can create both a mucosal immune response and also a systemic immune response, which is very important, for example, in the development of vaccines.